Chapter 3, Part 4, Decisions. Nested branches. So sometimes you want to put an if statement inside another if statement. So, for example, if ordering drinks, ask the customer for their drink order. And if the customer orders wine, ask for their ID. If the customer's age is over 21, serve them wine. Else, politely explain the law to the customer. Else, serve customers a non-alcoholic drink. So, you see this, this else matches up with if the customer orders wine, the, uh, the outermost else. The other else lines up with the if customer's age of 21 or over. The rule with matching else's with ifs is the else goes with the nearest if. And of course, braces can change that, that order. But the else pairs with the nearest if. So here's an example of what this might look like in a flow chart. Ask for their order. Did they order wine? If true, check their ID. Is their ID greater than or equal to 21? If true, serve the, the wine. If it's not true, read them the law. If they didn't order wine, then serve them a non-alcoholic drink. Um, here are some other examples of nested ifs given a federal tax rate schedule. If the uh, status is single and if the taxable income is at most 32000 then the tax rate is 10% of the amount over 0%, so 10% on everything. Um, if their status is single and if the taxable income is greater than 32000 then their tax is 32000 plus 20, excuse me, 3200 plus 25% um, of the of their amount over 32000 If their status is married and their taxable income is less than or equal to 64000 then their tax is 10% of the amount over $0, so 10% on all of their income. If their status is married and their taxable income is greater than 64000 then their tax is $6,400 plus 25% of the amount over 64000 So you can see this is going to take several nested if statements. Here is what that flow chart would look like. Are they single? If that's true, then check their income. If that's false, then we can assume that they're married and uh, check their income appropriately. Here's what this would look like in uh, a working program. I encourage you, you can either get this complete Java file from the student companion, but I encourage you to try to type it up. It is in our textbook, and I encourage you to try to type it up because if you make a few typos, you're going to learn that code better. There is nothing to substitute for typing up the code yourself. Um, note that when you are working in NetBeans, it will need that project statement, that package statement at the top. So don't delete that package statement when you create your um, project file.